Um, and this time we are going to jump into the splashy subject of sexuality, um, a subject that is huge, profound, and it was one of the more striking examples of what gets short shrift in the medical setting. Um, so let's see if we can kind of make up some of that slack. So um, as ever today, I'm just going to start us off with a handful of slides just to sort of level set and get us in the uh, arena together. Again, these aren't meant to be comprehensive. This is a huge subject, um, but it should get us in the ballpark and thinking. And um, the best part of these things is when you guys start participating. So is it something we take for granted? I mean, I don't know. We all have some version of it, I suppose, do we not? Um, it seems primal. It seems part of the human experience, the animal experience, the lived living experience. Um, but boy, is it intricate. And do we ever have each our own routes to it? It means different things to different people, etc. But it certainly gets at who we are in some deep place, some place that may not be obvious in our daily lives. Um, some some folks have a profound sex, sex life. It's a big part of their daily experience, but many of us may not see that. So it's private, it's personal, it's huge. Um, and it's, you know, my friend Karen Skanke, who we might hear from at some point later, she's done a lot of work in sex therapy, and she likes to point out that sex is, you know, 90 plus percent in the head. It's not just about the body parts. And as it goes in the head, our psychology, so who we are as people, what our roles are, our identity, our sense of self, all that comes up in the sexual plane in big, big ways. And so when we start mucking with who we are, when we change roles, for example, that can have impacts on our sexual lives, on what, uh, uh, who is attracted, what is attracted to us and vice versa, et cetera. So um, this comes up a lot in the, con in the con our context of, uh, illness, caregiving, etc., that people are cast into new roles as the patient or the spouse now may be the caregiver. Uh, these are not necessarily sexy words and and may really be something of a buzzkill. And so it's no it's no shame as as we it's no wonder as we kind of go through life with these sort of new identities, these threats to our identity, it shows up in our sex lives. So we're in the most exquisitely sensitive places. So of course it shows up there. So here we are just naming this uh, phenomenon. It's a very real phenomenon. Um, what we can do about it, let's, let's save that for conversation. 